We out here at Kristen yeah. Quinn's house <laughs> doing the Zoo project. There's Cameron. There's Alex. <laughs> There's Sarah. <laughs> arithmetic sequence versus geometric sequence. So like in arithmetic secret sequence, you're like adding four every time and like since it's like addition, that's why it's arithmetic. And then geometric, you're like multiplying by two. And since you're multiplying, that's what makes it like geometric. And that's like the difference between the two. And like there's, there are different um, equations. So like arithmetic sequences, a n equals a one plus n minus one times d. And geometric sequence is a n equals a one times r to the root of n minus one. And um, basically, you know, that's the difference. And if they're not either, like if they don't multiply or they don't, they're not like, say it was like, if it was like 8, 12, 22, 100, 100 and they don't like have a common difference like between all of them, like this, like 8 and 12, it's like 4, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then... Yeah. No. Yeah. So <laughs> if they don't have a common pattern, if they don't have a common pattern, then they're neither. Neither. Good. So yeah, that's it. Okay. So this is summation notation. Um, the number on top is the last number. The number on bottom is what you plug in for i. So when you're given the um, formula, you just plug in the number for i, and every time it goes up. So as you see here, I plugged three in for i, and then for every num every little like um, parentheses, I move I put I went up from three, so I went three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth, and then I um, squ squared each of them and I added them together and it got negative three hundred and sixty four, and then yeah it goes up to ten it goes up to the last number as you see here, and so that's the summation notation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so uh, we're going to find the sum here. We have 8, uh, summation notation, i equals 1, uh, six, 6 times 3, i minus 1. And then, um, so we're going to find the first term and the common ratio of that. So um, our common ratio is 3. So we identify the first term and the common ratio. And then now we're going to find the sum of it. So we put it into the uh, formula. the formula and um, get S eight equals a one and then yeah that pretty much all of this and then we write our rule and then um, we come up with this equation and then do one minus thirty eight which is negative thirty seven and then one minus three which is two <laughs> substitute B for A and three for R. And then come out with 19,680. So, at least some of Vaughn's grocery store, you stack apples into a square pyramid. Once done, you notice that the pattern of the top three layers of one has one apple, then four apples, and then nine apples. This pattern continues for 15 layers. So, you make this little thing. And you put the 15 on top, then you put the symbol, put i equals 1, and i equals, um, question mark. So, you have to put 1 until 15, and they all have to be squared. So, f f you do 1, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, until 15 squared. And then you add those all up, and then you get... One, two, four, zero. So that's the answer. <laughs> Alright, so you can also use this to, for the sum of squares. You plug in 15, um, and then 15 plus 1, and 30 plus 1 over 6, and then you get 82.7 times 15, and then you get 1, 2, 4, 0. The same answer as we got in the problem before. Here we all are, hard at work. You know, working hard over here. Working hard for girls like us. Watching the Hulk.
love ya. We're grateful for ya. You're gonna ace this test. <laughs> no? Those stunts though. Are we done? No. Yeah. No, you haven't done your part. I did. I did two problems. Are you proud? Oh my god, I already started filming. Go. <laughs> you can't do that. Alright, so... The interest rate is 7%. So every year we add, well, we multiply. Is multiply or add? Add. You add. <laughs> That's right. Add. You add the interest rate into it. You add the interest rate every into it every single year. Until, so 32, until years. 32 years. And After three years. Well, after you after get that three much. years, you get this much. But you only put in 18,000. You're recording this? Okay. Whatever, whatever you want. 18,000. <laughs> So if you like subtract eighteen thousand from the amount that you like actually got in the account, you're making a thousand dollars two hundred and eighty nine point forty in interest earned after only three years. But we're trying to find out how much you can earn after thirty two years. Take over, Cameron. <laughs> over here. Oh. So you okay. plug into the uh, sum equation. So you plug into the sum equation. So S N. Equals six thousand. Just all in the calculator. Well, on this is on the calculator. Because there's like lots of decimals. Yes, lots of decimals. <laughs> so in parentheses, there's one minus the interest rate with the exponent of thirty-two, and then over one minus the interest rate, and then S n equals six thousand, and then your answer right there, and S n equals 6,000 with 11. It was like lots of decimals after that. Yes, and then lots. <laughs> lots of those. And SN equals 6,600,600. No, $661,308.93. Six, six, yes. And then you take that Calculator. and you subtract it by how much you put into the account. So like you personally put in 192 grand. But yes. in the account, there's 661, around 661 grand. So when you subtract those, you get $469,308.93. And that's the profit you make after 32 years of basically doing nothing. 